Hello and welcome to the In Wheels Interval, a monthly podcast that focuses on strategies and survival tactics for fellow small streamers. In this month's episode, I want to talk about how to survive as a small streamer. So you will probably hear quite a few negative opinions about streaming across all platforms. You will hear about platforms being saturated, too many streamers, and even possibly better streamers than yourself. As you start to stream, these negatives can fester in your mind, meaning that you put off starting again and again, or put off streaming. First, this is completely natural. And second, quite bluntly, you need to get over them. One thing that I would say to you, whether you are 16 or 56 or older, is that there is never going to be a perfect time to stream and produce content. We all feel this imposter syndrome or the no point or not good enough negative thoughts in our heads. This is normal and something that we need to get over. I look at it like this. If you stumble across over this first hurdle, then streaming is probably not for you. You are always going to be showered with negative thoughts or feelings. And as a small streamer, we need to plow through these in order to stay consistent and to stick to streaming. Some people might relate these negative thoughts to why you want to stream. They might say, don't do it for the money, the fame, or even the recognition. Do it because you enjoy it. Well, I completely agree with the latter. You do need to enjoy the actual process of putting yourself out there and sharing your personality and expertise. Where I might differ from the do it because you enjoy it and know of a reason crowd is that I think it is important to challenge yourself and try to do better or the best you can possibly achieve. If you are not interested in improving then you probably would not be listening to this podcast. I really enjoy streaming I like interacting with the community, learning about the technology side of things or the technical side of things, creating emotes and um, overlays and even playing the games. But I want to get better and improve. Now, the reason why people are falling at this improving stage is that they decide on the wrong metric to measure their improvement. One of the easiest metrics to focus on is views. This is one of the metrics that Twitch uses to measure how successful a streamer is. If you get a lot of views, you get partnership. Why? Well, it's because the more people watching, the more money Twitch will make. It's a simple business model. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just saying as small streamers, it is a huge mistake to focus on this as a metric for success. If you turn up every day looking at your view counter, then you will soon get despondent and give up. So you are asking yourself, what should I focus on? And maybe even in Wills, what do you focus on? Well, for me, the first thing is community. One aspect of my streaming that I'm really proud and grateful for is the community that has grown. I really like it when the same people turn up in chat and I like that I have a relationship with all of them. I remember what they're doing and what's going on in their lives, things I can ask about, things we can talk about. I also like how the community naturally supports each other and knows each other as well. The good thing about a community is that there's no magic number that you will need to work towards. If you have one person chatting in your channel, 
then you have a community of two, you and that person. And if you have five people in your um, channel chatting, you have a community of six, five and you. You will always have a community as long as you have um, people visiting and chatting in your channel. Now, you might at this point be saying, hang on, Ingalls, I don't have anyone chatting. Well, I'm going to focus on that in the next podcast episode. So please do make sure you subscribe and come back next month. So the other aspect of my streaming that I like to focus on is my presentation and production of the stream. One of the compliments that I like when I raid other channels is that some comments, some of the people in the new channels comment on the production value of my streams. I really enjoy producing content and that includes live streaming. There is something quite special about interacting with people through a chat. I don't see them or hear them, but they are there and I need to ensure that the content engages them, makes them smile, helps them through get through those mundane jobs when they're lurking and even make them want to come back. I view my streaming as a show, like in the theatre. I want to encourage them to engage with me and um, and the stream for at least five seconds. If I can do that, then they could possibly come back and contribute to the community. Again, I have a range of strategies to achieve that. So I'm going to dedicate a complete episode to that later on. So more to come. I can safely say that streaming is probably one of the hardest things I've done in my life. I'm 55, so I've had a lot of life. I have grown so much as a streamer, but I am still a small streamer despite being on Twitch for years. Well, to give you an idea, I was a member of Twitch before it was even called Twitch. But despite it being hard, Streaming is something that I enjoy so much, whether I'm playing a role playing game, uh, MMO, or even trying to get my graveyard to look nice in Graveyard Keeper. Interestingly enough, I don't actually play games apart from streaming, which I think might be quite unique. The biggest thing that will stop you streaming is your own views and doubts. Getting over these is the first thing that you need to do in order to become a successful small streamer. So banish those thoughts to the bin, start up OBS and get streaming. I will be back next month to talk about how I promote engagement with the chat so that you can start to grow that community. If you have any questions, please do either email them to me or use the voice recording option in the show notes. Until next month, stay positive and productive and enjoy your streaming.